Pete, you're holding a worm gear. It's an impressive component, but what strategy have you adopted to get to this end result? Well, basically, we use OpenMind uh, software to machine these grooves in here. So what we've done is we use an 8mm tool to get in, first of all, to do the opening cut. Then we use a smaller end mill, 6mm, to get down, finish off the base level. Then the sides here, they're angled, so we use the tapered end mill to produce the sides using the Swarf strategy in open mind, which made the gear quick to produce. I think it was taking round about six minutes to do one slot, which about 30 minutes to do the whole component. So, What's the material? So the material is, um, I think it's an EN8 material, just a mild steel. Um, the chamfers as well, they were all done in one using just a chamfer tool, so really it was just cut down the machining time. Okay, and if we chose to do it in another way, is there any other strategies we could adopt? Well, maybe if this form here had like a, 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 a rounded edge to it, then we could have used a tapered conical barrel tool. This would have sped up things much quicker rather than scanning it in one mil step downs or half mil steps downs. We could have probably cleared this face with two or three passes. And that's the Hypermill Max machining? Um, that's, that's using all the new tangent barrel, barrel tool strategies, so yes. So what, what's the cycle time start to finish? Start to finish with all the turning and everything else is 30 minutes. So how long would this take to program? So this would take to program, well actually me sitting down and programming probably took me about 15, 20 minutes. Then um, obviously once we've done that, um, we could then produce the whole lot by rotating the part round, so that saves on time. And actually, you know, using OpenMind made this part ever so easy to program, very quick and a great component to do. Thank you